Hey friends, Hal here. Today I want to talk to you about a concept that has something to do with totally free guitar lessons or something free on the internet. Actually, it's not really free. There's always somebody that's paying for it. For instance, Justin Guitar says, totally free guitar lessons or whatever it is. Uh, somebody is paying for those lessons. Somebody is paying for the domain name, somebody's paying for the computers, somebody's paying for the cameras and the tripod, somebody's paying for the guitars, the strings, um, and the time it takes to work on the video. I was curious about um, some of my videos, the ones I've been producing lately, especially the good ones where you have chord uh, symbols in the bottom, I'm playing my guitar, and then you have tab on the screen and all of that kind of thing, and especially the two camera edits. Um, I found out that I'm spending anywhere between 15 and 20 hours in production for those videos each. That's a long time. Let's see. Oh, there's also re recording equipment, uh, mics, for instance this little lavalier mic here. There's chords, there's music stands like this music stand over here. Uh, oh, excuse me, that's not a music stand. There's one right here that you can't see, I think. Um, there's a guitar stand. There's uh, also, we edit the videos, we post the videos, uh, we post things to the website, we make tab sheets, we make lead sheets. Now, what this means is that someone is paying for all of this. Someone is spending their time. Um, maybe they're not actually spending money when I'm, like for instance, when I'm making a lead sheet, maybe I'm not actually spending cash, but I'm spending my time and I can't do anything else, right? So, the way we normally do this is if we don't get paid for it for videos on the internet we work another job uh, you can get product placement for instance if I've got some kind of a phone and I said hey buy this phone it's really a great phone uh, do you think you can do that then uh, maybe the manufacturer is paying for that phone uh, you can get sponsorship there's advertising dollars that we get. For instance, if you watch a video on YouTube and, and you watch the ad or you click on an ad, that kicks back if we've monetized the video to maybe five cents a video or something like that. Five cents a view, excuse me. If you do multiple views, though, that doesn't count. It's just the first initial view. Um, there's also donations. Some people ask for donations. and. Uh, Sometimes if I tell you, well, I don't have this on my channel yet or anything, but if I told you, hey, go to this website and they'll get you started, you know, making your own video channel or something like that, then sometimes people get kickbacks for that. Like if you sign up and you spend a hundred bucks, they might kick back five dollars or ten dollars to the person who sent you there. Um, so I would strongly recommend that if you're going to use someone's video channel, you're going to learn something from them, and they ask for a donation that you actually give them something, something, a dollar, uh, ten dollars, five dollars, something that helps them to continue to work on that. Because at one point, if it doesn't pay, they're going to get burned out, and they're just going to stop posting videos, and you won't have them, and nobody else will have them. Now, maybe you don't care. That's okay. I'm trying to figure out how Quail Studios can be more efficient at raising money and also give you what you need as far as you know learning how to play guitar and uh, being a better musician.